Hey, Gemini. Welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. This is going to be your um, weekly reading. We're going to start with Oracle cards and we're going to move into Tarot cards. All right, we have here Wisdom of the Oracle. We're starting there. We're also going to use Energy Oracle, Quantum Oracle, Psychic Oracle, and or Psychic Tarot, I'm sorry, and... Um, modern spellcasters tarot all right let's get into it spirit and angels anyone for the high good for gemini anyone with gemini placements what do we need to know it is the weekly reading the 17th to the 23rd of october 2021 but it could resonate any day week month or year anyone is guided to see it it's for anyone with gemini placements why came out what else do we need to know here uh co-create i want to get one more okay community and yang okay wow all right so time to take action having to do with a group some kind of group situation so it's time to work together why is because you have to work together co-create the why and co-create with some kind of um, group effort and actually take action with yang okay all right so it's time to take action in some kind of group endeavor or this can community can be any group like this could be your own family this could be your work partners this could be um your community that you live in this could be church community spiritual community it could be anything or anyone the world flew out of the deck so it's time to do this because it's um about a cycle change here you're going to end an old cycle and start a new one nice all right what else do we need to know here for gemini that's too many. We just need one or two. Gemini, one or two at a time. Oh, woman holding the coin. What else? Too many. Just one or two for Gemini. So we have world, woman holding the coin. You could be getting a new job or entering into a whole new job community. You know, something, you could just be switching jobs. It could be that simple or it could be something big, a big change. Like going from being, um, I don't know, an orderly to being a nurse or a doctor. Community again, right under community. Look. Wow came out right underneath community so this is an important thing spirit wants you to realize this change this big change in your life is about a whole new group you could be moving tell me more about this angel of strength okay so pulling on your inner strength here um i want to just move this and at the bottom of the deck you have angel of love so you got angel action coming in here because um, I forgot to pull a bottom card after community, so it gave you an extra card here. Everybody else only got four of these, but that's okay. That happens. I don't think it's a mistake. I just think it was meant to be. Um, give me a little more information here about this. Why co-create community? Yang. Wow, milestone came out. Really, really, really nice card. Hugely nice card wow okay i usually wouldn't take this many but you got to see this goes so well with your reading the new journey the new path the new beginning right there the new cycle we already know that you're about to start a new cycle this is a big event in your life gratitude and increase wow gemini this is some really good energy wow big big bottom of the deck piece like that a lot this reading is beautiful all right, so I mean, I don't really have that much to tell you about this reading. You are about to change something big in your life. This is a big event. It's a milestone. It's a brand new cycle. The world and new beginnings. Milestone, new cycle of increase. The be new beginnings, and these are all new. These are all cards that say you're entering a new cycle in your life. And boy, is it going to be great. It's a cycle of increase. This is excellent. Wait, what one goes up there? That one. Okay. Really nice. Great gratitude and peace. You are going to love this new cycle. You really are. All right, let's get you a few oracle, I mean a few um, psychic tarot here. What else do we need to know about this Gemini reading? Anything important? This is all about yang. This is taking some kind of action. So this isn't going to just show up on your doorstep, right? 
this is something you've gonna you're gonna have to initiate co-creating um, Yang, the co-creating could be co-creating with the universe, right? But but since it's next to community and another community under it, very interesting. Heart chakra just showed up. Okay, so stay, um, keep that sh heart chakra in alignment. If you have to go on YouTube, they have lots of stuff that can help you with your chakras. Give me a little more information here. What else do we need to know about this? Oh, that's way too many. Just one or two at a time for Gemini. It's the Gemini weekly reading. It could resonate at any time. Balance. Absolutely. How nice. And I want to get one more for you. What else do we need to know here? Financial and material change. So, yeah, this could be a new job. I think I even said that. Spiritual union and the waiting games at the bottom. Mm -hmm divine timings at play here so the waiting game i feel like this has already been going on i feel like you're about to see the fruits of your labor something you've been waiting on something and again co-creating spiritual union co-creating this doesn't have to be love but it's a partnership nonetheless for some of you it's going to be about um, a business change because we have um, financial and material changes and we already know you're going through a big change and I did say originally with a uh, woman holding the coin this could be about a brand new job this could be about a huge move this could be you getting married and changing everything about how you guys handle your assets but now it'll be together right um, whatever this is there's balance sitting right in the middle of the reading right there boom balance I love it so the angel of love and the angel of strength are here and for me this is the angel of balance like temperance and look it's got the spiritual number of 11 it's beautiful i love this reading beautiful reading this is something uh, make sure that you um stay focused on your um heart chakra and did we talk about another chakra that needed to be worked on or not i don't know why i thought they did I thought we did but um either way just keep that heart chakra in alignment i would um definitely do that on youtube there's tons of stuff you can balance all your chakras as many times as you want you can do it every day every night it doesn't take long there's like seven minute videos and then there's like all night long videos totally up to you whatever suits you there's all different kinds of mantras you can do and um there's guided balancing there's all kinds of stuff really it's a matter of what you really like underneath the deck we do have sacral chakra so i would work on multiple chakras now that was not your card but i just happened to see it and usually if your heart chakra is out so is your sacral and vice versa so that's why i'm saying if you want to work on all of them it can't hurt that's for sure because i feel like you are this is big. This is a big event in your life. Huge, huge change, huge milestone, huge new beginning. The beginning is going to be beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. I don't know how many times to say it. I mean, it, and it, it really went super fast. I've got some um, tarot to do for you yet too. So let's do that and see where we stand. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What else do we need to know? Is there any other information we have for Gemini? It has to do with this huge change coming up. Uh, a new group of some sort, a new change of some sort. This could be a big move in their life. There's something huge happening. I mean, I don't know. You could be getting married. You could be moving. You could be changing jobs. You could be having a huge job position change. There's something going on here. It's, it's big. It's a big event and it's a big change and it's a beautiful new cycle change heading into an increased cycle. Great gratitude is here. Peace is here. I mean, you can't beat these cards. They're wonderful. What do we need to know about this reading for Gemini? What's important here? All right, let's get into it. We started with why co-create community and yang. Wow, nine of wands came di out, directly out on its side in reverse. All right, so that's a challenge when it comes out. I'm going to put it right here so you guys can see it. Okay, what else do we need to know about this reading for Gemini? What's important? Okay, two of, four of wands. What else do we need to know? It's reversed, but that's okay. What else do we need to know? Uh, hermit reversed. I'm going to put this up here so we remember what where it came out. What else do we need to know for Gemini? Gemini reading. What's important? 
Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles reverse. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And at the bottom, we have this really cool card of the um, Page of Wands. Nice. All right, let's just take a look. I want to move these over. Usually, this one goes right here. I'm going to see if I can fit it. Um... All right, I think we fit it okay. Yeah, Magician, we've got the Page of Wands. All right, so what I see happen in here is there's some, yeah, there is something really good coming in. It's, you've manifested this with the Magician here and this Page of Wands, like this is good news. This is an exciting time. This is that new exciting beginning happening here. This could be something you fought long and hard for. Uh, this could have been something you were blocking out for a while there. We do have um, the two, I, I'm sorry, I, I always want to call this the two of wands. It's the four of wands. But in this deck, they show it as some kind of a partnership like they like we had here with the spiritual union. This is two soulmates. It doesn't matter what, con what kind of partnership it is. It could be friends. It could be family. It could be loved one. It could be a romantic. It could be anything. Whatever this is, this is some kind of partnership. You have gone deep about this with the hermit here reverse. You've been enlightened. Um, something's been on hold. This uh, page of pentacles. This is something that's been on hold and now you're nurturing it with the seven of pentacles. Or someone here ha is now nurturing. Whatever this is. This might be something that didn't come in before. This could have been really platonic before. And it's now entering a more... Um, passionate kind of um advancement here i'm gonna grab uh i'm gonna keep this here and i'm gonna grab just a few more to clarify tell us more about the nine of wands here as a challenge in reverse what do we need to know about it yeah the, now it's so funny because i called this the two of wands and now i actually get the two of wands in its reverse in this deck i kind of like the two of wands reverse because in the upright see how this person's tied their, their ankles tied over here. I don't know if you can see it by my fingers. And their um, wrist is tied. They can't move forward. They are trying to figure out how to move forward. When I see this one reversed, I feel like someone got untied. They're free. And that might be, you might have felt caged up. You might have felt like you couldn't move forward. And something, there's good news coming in. There's something coming through for you that wasn't coming through before. You could be waiting on money for a house and that's what i'm getting here as well i want to look i mean for some of you the wheels turning look at that the wheel of fortune something's getting loosened here for you so that you can now um move forward tell me about the four of wands here reverse like i said this could be a home it could be a partnership it could be anything just one or two why is the four of wands here in reverse just one or two like I said, this Four of Wands really does um, kind of remind me of the Two of Wands, but it reminds me of two people doing something together. Two um, people who are committed to each other, but they could be platonic. Tell me about this Four of Wands reversed. What's important here? Just one or two. Okay, King of Wands reversed. Okay, so you might have a problem with it, um, a partner that you are. You might be leaving behind this partner. Um, tell me more about the King of Wands reversed with this Four of Wands reversed. What do I need to know about it? Wow, there it is, the world. Yeah, uh, we have the High Priestess reversed in the world. This is a big deal. It really is. This every There's so many things that say you're going to have a new beginning and a new cycle change. You might be leaving somebody behind. There could be information coming out. There could be, um, you might be secretly... Um, skedaddling whatever it is i don't like the king of wands reversed anyway so if this was your partner there's a good reason why you're leaving them behind uh, but you're gonna love the new cycle no matter what this is so it doesn't matter i mean this doesn't have to be a love partner you're leaving behind this could be a work partner this could be a co-worker this could be your boss this could be a business associate i don't know what this is could be a friend, could be a family member, whatever it is. I feel like you're busting free from something you felt very um, connected to this person in some way, but it made you feel caged, it made you feel stuck. All right, tell me more about this, uh, the um, Hermit Reversed. What do I need to know about the Hermit Reversed here for Gemini? 
Okay, the sun reversed again and the eight of pentacles reversed. And I keep wanting to say, this could be business. This could be work. This could be this could be a, um, a partnership. I think it is. And I think it's with a Leo. Okay, we've got eight of pentacles reversed and the sun reversed. And the hermit is reversed, shining the light on something. There was a lack of clarity about this before and you've now got it. Like you've been enlightened in some way. And I know that because you have the judgment card at the bottom as well. Mm. There's been some kind of an enlightenment for you about this. Tell me about the page of pentacles reversed. Why is the page of pentacles reversed? What do we need to know about it? What's important that we know about this for Gemini? For anyone with Gemini placements, why is Page of Pentacles in the reverse? What's the gig? What do we need to know here? Okay. Well, the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse as well. And the Seven of Swords is at the bottom. Someone was doing something sneaky and shady with the money, I feel. And the Five of Pentacles was right behind that. So definitely. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. What is this you're going to invest in? Seven of Pentacles. Just one or two. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, that's too many. Seven of Pentacles. What's important here? Gemini reading. Okay, this is still way too many. Way too many. Just one or two. Seven of Pentacles. What's most important that we know in one or two cards about, okay? Hierophant reversed and the Sword of Truth. Yeah, this is a broken contract or leaving a business partner or there's something going on where you're severing ties with a business partner. Something about the money. Um, and the sort of truth, there's some kind of truth coming in. There's information coming out. And I will say that my, it, my face is itching so bad. My nose is like just torturing me right now. And the top of my nose feels like spirit is tickling it. Um, that usually means there's something big coming through that you need to pay attention to or some important information. So we have the Hierophant reversed. And you know, this Hierophant in this deck is not a good Hierophant. Look at it. This one's holding secrets behind their back, and this one's the devil. See that? Thankfully, it's reversed. You're severing ties with this. There's some kind of truth and clarity coming out. I feel like it has to do with whatever was going on here fishy with the money. Towers at the bottom. Yeah, this is you're pulling the plug on this. You are going to be like, boom, bye, Felicia. I got to go. Because this has something to do with you changing altogether. You're changing. You're getting a... For me, this is about work this entire reading but for you it might resonate in another way now not me not about but for me it mostly for most of you I feel if I were to give this to a client in a personal reading I would definitely be pointing at work for this one that's what I mean not that it's about me I, this doesn't resonate with me at all but um anyway for most of you I feel this will be about work for a few of you, it could be about a big move in your life or a big change of residence, um, a big change. But it, it, no matter what it is, it's like you're going to get, if it, this is a change of residence, um, you're going to be severing ties with your old community, whatever that means. I don't know what kind of community that is for you. This could be you. Um, yeah, there is definitely this fire sign person here, though, in reverse. So it, it could be you, could be you. But whatever it is. So in other words, if you are this fire sign masculine, it could be because you've got something going on that you're upset about. But it's all about to change. It really is huge new cycle change. <coughs> Excuse me. You could be, no matter what, I think somebody's leaving an old job and moving to another. For some of you, you could be really literally moving. Uh, it does have to do with something that involves finances, I feel. Um... For most of you, it will be business, it will be work, it will be business partnership, it will be some agreement that you had with a, an entity, but then they went and did something shady or the money wasn't there or something, something happened. You know, they didn't, it doesn't mean they did something shady, it just could be that the money isn't there or it just isn't there, right? Um, so guys, reach out to me and let me know what this is, but it's going to be a milestone for you. It's a huge change. It's going to be an excellent change. Even if you don't know that right now, if, if by chance, you know, that tower hits, don't freak out because everything here points to this being an awesome change for you. So if this hits, don't freak out. Like, let's say you find out there's no budget and the company has to let you go. 
there's something amazing that's going to follow this that you're just going to love it really is going to be something great it's going to lead you to a beautiful new cycle whether you know it or not anyway guys reach out to me let me know if you know what this is or if you think you know what this is or you've been expecting this whatever it is i'd love to hear from you comment down below and exchange energy we're going to pull you a couple of angel cards on the way out please guys don't forget to hit that thumbs up and keep this channel on the air thank you so much i appreciate you guys all right let's get you um a couple of angel cards angels what do we need to know about this reading please whoa we got one that flew out okay give me two more just two okay expectancy healing and brotherhood sisterhood community listen this is excellent so if, if you're not in touch with this new community yet you are going to love them this is a brotherhood sisterhood this is spiritual unions with people that really are your kind of people you're going to love this expect a big gift see how this little angel's opening a big old gift from the universe expect a gift from the universe this is going to be very healing like i said you also had that peace card come up that to me is a, also a very healing card these feel feels so nice and so healing to me um this is the peace card and she's on a swing in the clouds it's beautiful anyway guys let me know about this i'm gonna really be excited to hear from you and see who's switching jobs who's getting married who's moving in who's moving to another place who's 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 i want to know what you guys are doing anyway um i'd love to hear from you guys and i will talk to you soon have a great week i hope you enjoyed the reading don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me thank you so much talk to you guys soon bye